Hi everybody, this is Vasu DJ. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show how to calculate quartile deviation. Now, here, what are the measures of variability or dispersion? There are four measures of variability, namely range, quartile deviation, mean or average deviation, standard deviation. Now, range, know that it is defined as the difference between highest and lowest score. Range is equal to highest score and minus lowest score. So, R is equal to H minus L. Now, let us see that come to main how to find the quartile deviation. Now, for ungrouped data, here they given that 25, 29, 36, 42, 48, 56, 62, 65, 67, 70, 32. Now, we have to write in order in column 1. So, serial number 1 to 11, 11 scores are there. Now, x is the score, so all you have to write in order. Okay. Now, first, what is the formula to find quarter division? Quarter division is called q3 minus q1 by 2, that is third quartile minus first quartile. Okay. Now, first q1, how to find the q1? First quartile, where it is? Okay, that is n plus 1 by fourth item is the first quartile. So, n is 11 scores are there. There are 11 plus 1 by 4th item that is 12 by 4 that is third item. Here it is third item here. So, here third item 1, 2, 3. Your third item is q1. So, and q3. So, 3 into n plus 1 by 4. So, 3 already know n plus 1 by 4 value is 3. So, 3 into 3 is ninth item. So, here ninth item is so here q3 now substitute the values these are the value is 36 q1 and q3 is 67 now we have to substitute the values in the formula we get quarter division equal to 15.5 this is how we have to calculate the quarter division for ungrouped data now one more ungrouped data so here the frequency is given how to find here scores are given frequency is given. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80 and frequency 4, 7, 15, 80, 8, 7, 2. Okay, total n is 43. What is the first step? We have to find, first calculate the cumulative frequency. Where it starts from 4. Therefore, first your cumulative frequency is 4. Then add 7. So, 11, 26, 34, 41, 43. So, like this you will get. So, 4, 4 plus 7, 11, 11 plus 15, 26, 26 plus 8, for 34, 34 plus 7, 41, 41 plus 2, 40. This is how we have to calculate cumulative frequency that you know that. Now, the formula, as usual, uh, quarter division is equal to Q0 minus Q1 by 2. Now, Q1 and plus 1 by 4 item, that is 43, N is 43 plus 1 by 4 item, that is 44 by 4, that is 11 item. So, here 11th item. So, here value is 20. So, value of Q1 is 20. Like the Q3 is equal to 3 into n plus 1 by 4. No, 3 into. So, n plus 1 by 4 value is 11. 11 into 3 is 33. Here where 33. So, here in cumulative frequency 13, 34 we have 33. Therefore, the value of Q3 is 40. So, Q3 is 40. Now, substitute the values is Q1 and Q3 in the formula. So, we will get Q quarter division is equal to 10. Okay. So, this is how we have to calculate quarter division. Now, this is ungrouped data. Now, let us find how to calculate quarter division for grouped data. Now, the problem is what class interval given 70, 79, 60, 69, 50, 59, 40, 49, 30, 39, 20, 29, 10, 19, 0, 9. Now, frequency. 14, 16, 40, 10, 0, 20, 40, 10. Now, what is the first step? We have to calculate cumulative frequency. First is 10. Because this is decreasing order from bottom we have to go on adding. So, we will get 10, 50, 70, 70, 80, 120, 136, 150. Okay, this is how we have to calculate frequency. You know already 
where it lies. You don't know exactly that. Okay, so formula that remember, and then first quad can set one by fourth item. So that is one fifty plus one by four. That is thirty seven point seven five. So here where so here thirty seven point five. So here we have to find in fifty we have thirty seven point five. But what is the value of Q one? We don't know because. Your ten to ninety, any number, any score may be Q one. That's why, right. so directly we don't know, we cannot see that what is the exact value of Q one. We have to use another formula. We have to find exact value of Q one. So like first we have to identify where Q one and Q three lies. Here Q one lies between ten to ninety, and here Q three is one thirteen. So here. In 120, we have 113.25. Therefore, the 23 lies between 50 to 59. So here, by using the formula, we have to identify where exactly Q1 and Q3 lies. But we don't know the exact value of Q1 and Q3 to find QD. Okay. Now, how to calculate exact value of Q1 and Q3? Now we have to use our formula. So Q1 is equal to L plus n by 4 minus s by fm into I. This formula we have to use uh, to find exact value of Q1. Okay, now substitute the value. Already you know, find median you know, like that only here. L. So here 9.5. So substitute the value of 9.5 n by 4 and F. You know that here 10 and FM here 40. So we do say the plus equal 10. Now if we simplify, this will get the exact value of Q1 is 16.375. Like this, we have to calculate Q3 also. Here, Q3 L is 49.5. Like that, we have to <coughs> substitute the values, the formula. So if you simplify, so you will get the value of Q3. That is 57.65. Now we know we got. The value, exact value of Q1 and Q3. Now substitute the value, these values in the formula. Uh, Qd is equal to Q3 minus Q1 by 2. What do we get? 57.625 minus 16.375 by 2. We get 41.25 by 2. That is 20.625. Therefore, the exact uh, value of Qd. Qd is 20.65. So this is how we have to calculate quartal deviation. by using these two formulas thank you for watching if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe thank you